This is a portfolio of a man who once claimed who could build portable bridges, drain moats, and if there's time left, paint the Mona Lisa. In 1482, Leonardo da Vinci wrote a letter to the Duke of Milan. It was the original Hire Me direct message. Today, we are giving that letter the digital home it deserves. But we are not doing it the old way. We are letting AI multi-agent multitask as hard as Leonardo did. We have all been there. You ask your AI coding assistant to refactor a component. It starts thinking and writing. And for the next 40 seconds, you are paralyzed. You cannot switch files or break the context. You are just watching text generate. It is a single threaded trap. Human brain, especially developer brain, are non-linear. We want to fix the CSS header and at the same time, we want to debug the backend logic. But our tools force us into a queue. Today, we are breaking that queue. By the end of this video, we will have a fully responsive multi-page portfolio for Leonardo da Vinci. We are going to build the engineering section and the art section at the same time. We are using Verdan. It's an AI coding tool that it reads agents like employees you can actually manage. Not just the chat boxes you hope will understand. You stay in control, you guide the direction, and the AI executes. Let's get to work. Here's the raw text of Leonardo's letter. It's accessible, but boring. I want to turn this item for portable motors into an interactive blueprint. Normally, I would stop here, but watch. While that agent is grinding on the JavaScript, I'm spinning up a second workspace. Notice that. No interference, no context bleeding, two complex features being caught simultaneously. That's what we are aiming for. We start with a blank slate. I have dropped the raw text of the letter into index.html. Now let's style the container. The base agent handles the global styles, but the other agent lists method of burning ships right next to sculpture in marble. Always verify your base styles are committed before branching out tasks. It keeps the merge clean later. For task one, the engineer, I am asking Verdant to create a physics space toggle for the bridge design. For task two, the artist, in a totally separate workspace, I am asking for a lightbox gallery. This is a personal development team concept. I am not the coder here. I am the architect. I am reviewing the engineer's code. Looks good. Valid logic. While the artist is still generating CSS. If you try to edit the same file in two workspaces, you will get a merge conflict. Verdant handles this well. You just replace between the two workspaces to sync. Now, here's where the workflow shifts. In VS Code or in Cursor, I have to finish the War Machine page before I start the art page. But in Verdant, I treat them as tickets. A quick check in here. We have the War section looks aggressive and technical. We have the art section looking soft and elegant. Neither agent knows the other exists. Now, let's merge them. Now, we need to talk about why this feels different. When I first tried running multiple AI tasks, I kept hitting the same wall. Context pollution. Usually when you iterate on AI code, the context window gets muddy. Previous instructions bleed into new ones. You ask for a dark scene. And somehow the agent remembers you wanted rounded corner three prompts ago on a completely different component. Verdant 
handle this differently. Every time you click a new task, you are not just starting a new chat. You are effectively branching the repo, creating an isolated environment and deploying a dedicated agent. You can experiment freely. Breaking the code into Workspace B doesn't matter. Workspace A is pristine. I have started treating failed experiments as free because they are. The isolation makes it fearless coding. Link to try it is in the description. If you live in VS Code and you don't want to leave, Verdant works there too, but the workflow is different. Instead of parallel workspaces, the VS Code extension focuses on a three-step loop, plan, code, verify. First, the agent breaks down your request. You see the reasoning. To build this gallery, I need to create the grid container, then the image components, then the lightbox logic. Then it codes with intent. You can see what it's trying to accomplish at each step, not just the output. Finally, it verifies its own work, runs the logic, catches errors before you do. The result is more accurate code on the first pass. Fewer why did it do that moment. For linear single focus tasks, this workflow is excellent. For parallel chaos like today's build, the standalone app is where I live. It's important to note that both tools share the same AI backend. So choose based on your workflow, not capability. Let's bring it all home. I am merging the engineering module. Done. Now the art module. Verdant detects the changes because we kept the component modular. The merge is seamless. In a linear workflow, this build took me about 45 minutes. Running these agents in parallel, we just clocked in at 18 minutes. That's efficiency you can feel. Leonardo da Vinci died 500 years ago. He never saw a line of code, but he understood the value of doing many things all at once, with intense focus. What surprised me today was not that the AI can generate code. We know it can do that. It was how calm the process felt. I was not fighting the tool to switch context. I was just directing. If you want to try Verdant, the link is in the description. It's free to start. And for complex projects, it's a breath of fresh air. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new today, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Finally, I am Maat Fataya. Keep learning, and I will see you in the next one.